Hello, this is Pastor John with my weekly update for all of you today. Well, it's almost that time of the year again, fall. And that means that plans are already underway for our next Servant Saturday, which will be held October 16th, 17th, and 18th. Much like our spring event, we will offer service projects that you can complete at home, as well as those traditional yard work projects and more. So get ready and watch out for the Sign Up Genius link so that you can join us as we extend the heart of Christ to those within our community. You know, here at Royal Redeemer, we are so excited for all of the ways by which you can walk alongside your brothers and sisters in Christ, even during this crazy time. Opportunities for in-person and online small groups or Bible studies are available to help open doors of friendship and fellowship, but most importantly, draw us closer to the Lord. So I encourage you to go take a peek at our signups page on our website. There is truly something there for everyone. This Sunday at 7 p.m., the high school youth group will be meeting in the upstairs youth room where they'll be discussing the meaning of friendship and having a little fun. So don't let your kids miss out on that. Before our next six-week sermon series, uh, Pastor Harris will be sharing a message this week and based on Romans 14 verses 1 through 12 titled, United by Christ. Our unity is found in what Christ has already done for us and not in what we do in his name. From our Lord's example, we not only learn how to interact with others, but we are reminded of the truth that we all belong to Him. As a reminder, signups are still available for worship this Sunday. You can sign up for either the 8.30 a.m. traditional service or the 10 a.m. contemporary service or the 6 p.m. outdoor worship service. And this Sunday evening after the 6 p.m. outdoor service, weather permitting of course, the Kona Ice Truck will be here serving up some tasty treats. Families are encouraged to attend as we celebrate the fact that we are all united by Christ. Well, let me close with a truth worth holding. In Romans 14, verses 7 and 8, Paul writes and he says this, For none of us lives for ourselves alone, and none of us dies for ourselves alone. If we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Here Paul is encouraging the church in Rome to live graciously and generously in how they treat others within the body of Christ. While we celebrate our relationship with God through faith, we also rejoice in that vital connection we have to one another in Christ and as we work together for the Lord. Please continue to check your email, Facebook, and our website for updates. And as always, may God watch over you and your loved ones and keep you in his protection and in good health.